Okay, chapter number 4, part number 7, continuation. Topic, to learn how to draw a graph. So we are going to draw a graph again. So here, you see class 10 bosom. So this question is asked in 2020, SLC. So the equation, this is the first equation and this is the second equation. So we are going to start the answer here. So you copy out the same here, 2x plus y equal to a. So we have to make it one value to find. So I'm going to write here 2x. So this plus go to the right side and become minus y. So then here, this one is 2. So this is the equation 1. These two should become down here. So, and the next equation here, you see, uh, 3x plus 2y equal to 13. So, if you are making to find the x value in the equation 1, so equation also, you have to make it same here, for x. So, this plus go to the right side and become minus. So, x equal to yeah, 13, 2y divided by 3. So this is the equation 2. So you can make it to find y value also. But here I'm always making to find the x value. So table here. Table. We have to write like this table for x and y. So this table is above table. The table here. At the top table is for the equation 1. And this one is for the equation 2. So we are going to start the calculation here. So you see the equation 1, here, here, uh, what is this, this is a y here, if y then, you have to start putting, y, let's see, y equal to 1 in equation 1, so let's take y equal to 1 here, so x equal to 8 minus, instead of y, we are going to write here 1. So here is 7. So 7 divided by 2. It is not divisible. So the taking of y value is wrong. So you have to be careful when we're taking y value. If the number is having divisible by. Then you have to think. If I take y value here 1 up to 10 let's say. 1, 2, 3 like this. After minus or plus. Whether this denominator by the denominator, it can be divisible or not. You have to think it. So this taking y value equal to 1 is wrong. So I am going to write here the right value here. 0 less than. So 8 minus 0 here. y is 0. So then here is 8. Then here is 4. So when we take y 0, x is 4. So let's take another. y equal to 2. So let's see, x equal to 8 minus 2. So you see the equation 1, 8 minus y. So we have to put, instead of y, we have to put 2. So then here is 6. 6 divided by 2 is again 3. So you write it like this. So then here, when we take y as 2, this 2 here, we get x as 3. So I'm going to rub this one. The last value here, let's take y, what number say we take here to get, is it like divisible? So I'm going to take y equal to 4 again. So then x equal to 8 minus 4. Then here is 2. So then 4 divided by 2 equal to, sorry, it is 2. So then when we take y4, x is 2. So the table 1 we have completed. So we are going to do for table 2 again. So here we are going to write 2. So this one I'm going to omit. You see the equation 2. What is here? So after here 2x, sorry, Minus 2y. 
So then you have to start putting y equal to. So let's take y equal to here minus 1. So then here is x equal to 13 minus 2 into minus 1 divided by 3. So then 13. Here minus minus is plus. 2 into 1, 2. So then here 15. 15 divided by 3 equal to 5. So when we take y is minus 1, then x is 5 again. So let's take another value here. So I'm going to rub this one. Let's take y equal to 2 again here. So then here, 13, 2y. Instead of 2y, we are going to put here into 2. So then here is 3. So 13, here is 4, then here is 3. If minus 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, then here is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. So when we take y, 2, x is 3. So last value here. So last one, I want to write the equation. See, you see. y equal to. Let's take 5. So here, 13 minus 2 into 5. So instead of 2y, we have to write 5. You see, how this, you may think how this 3 is coming. It's from the equation. So I'm going to write here. So then 13, here is 10. 2, 5 is 10. Then here is, again, 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So this 1 here. So you have to write, when we take y as 5, x is 1. Okay, I'm going to rub this, this one all. So now we are going to draw a graph here. So yeah, by using scale, you draw down the vertical line and you write like this. By using scale, you draw a line. It's called horizontal. So this one is x, ds, x. This horizontal line is x as is, y, ds, y. This is vertical line is y axis. So you write here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you see the highest value of x is 5 here. It is, up, you have to write up to 5. No less than 5. So here is minus 1. So let's write here minus 1. Here is minus 2. So this side is minus 1 and minus 2. So y, how many you see? The biggest number y is 5. So you we'll write here 1, 2, 3, 4. Here is 5. So you see x, how many? 4. So here is, look here. 0. x4. y0 then here is 0. So no need to go up. So here. You have to write here. x4, y0. So another one, x3, y2. So this line here. This line. So here. x is 3, y2. So to know the place only I'm drawing this line. So x is 2. You see? y4 then you go up here this line yeah up to here so x2 y4 so if finish then by using scale not by freehand you draw the line like this so you can extend this line here like this so here is a b so table one we have finished now table 2, x5 you see, x5, this one, here y minus 1, so you see here, so here is the place, you look here, x5, y minus 1, so here, 
and again x3 y2 same place here same point so x1 y5 so they have to come up here y5 so this here this line here up to here I'm going to mark here so the graph is like this so this one here see you see this line C D C D C D here so they intersect at here 3 2 x3 y2 so below here I'm going to write some few point floating the values of equation 1 and 2 in the in the here in the Cartesian Cartesian plan we get two two lines A B and C D which intersect intersect here you see open bracket here you see three comma two therefore here then means x equal to three and y equal to two so look here in the table which i have done in the uh, drawn in the basic so you see here we have to write unique solution or intersect. If the graph is intersect like this, then you have to write intersect. Intersecting line or intersect. But here I'm writing in the answer here intersect. So this is the end of the question.